Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome back to Stranded Deep. So guys, we're going to be building a storage shelter this episode. In fact, I'm actually going to need a hammer for that. But the reason why I'm waiting in here is because I'm sunburnt. I'm yet to see what happens when you uh, stay in the sun too long, and I do not want to find out. But as I am sunburnt and waiting, why don't we have a look on the map? Because I asked you guys in the last episode what I should name the other two islands. Now, you guys seem to like a comment from Spermin Herman. Amazing name, by the way. Saying, Zuma, can you call one of the islands Scrap Island because of all the scrap you found there? I know it's simple, but I like to keep things simple. So the island that you're thinking of is the northwest one, the small island where we stored the tires and the barrels. So we'll call that Scrap Island. I kind of like that, so thank you for your comment. But let me know what we should call the other large island, guys. It doesn't have to mean anything. It can be a funny name. But yeah, leave in the comments below what you think I should call it. And also upvote any cool names that you see as well. So finally we are healthy, let's get building. Get the hammer, go over to the planks, we have loads of them. But I didn't realise there was actually a cura fruit growing here, hopefully I said that right. But this is where I wanted to build my plank shelter, so I've got to make sure that I don't affect it somehow. Just trying to find out the angle that I'd have it at. I think it's just going to be a 2 by one going in a line instead of next to each other. So we just need the plank foundation. Oh, no way, I'm not even in the radius of the planks. Right foundation let's start um yes yeah, so if i go there when i put the wall on the right it's going to go into the plant maybe like that yeah i think that's good let's start this bad boy it's gonna be nice not having to start everything on the beach anymore i'm really worried that when i put a wall on that right side it's not going to allow me because of the Cura plant. <laughs> and that's complete. It looks okay. It's a lot better than the normal like wood or driftwood foundations. Uh, right, so let's use the quick. Oh, we can't use the quick key. There we go. So I think having them in a line would be nice when we walk in and we can see all the crates everywhere. Pretty sure these only took four hits, but well, that's a lot. That's like double. Isn't that's eight hits, that's all. Right. We need to know the dimensions of the crates to know the layout. How I'm going to store them. Let's just go have a little test. Oh, of course, man. Get that tan. Get that tan. <laughs> Those birds sound amazing. I'm going to have to go in the shade soon. Just want to see something there. So would I be able to do this? That has to be the other way around. Now that we have the wood crate stencil, that'll be the way that we do it. Um, then another one maybe like there. Then this one like that. Could work. Depends how much the walls come in. Like that, that could be a good way to stack them. Then they come all the way down, all the way down, then go on top. Anyway. Let's see about making the walls. Oh, you need the hammer? Plank wall. So I can put them on this side. Is that the right way? Looks good. said at the start of the episode, I didn't want to find out what happens when you've got sunstroke in this game. In fact, I'm protected. <laughs> That's as far as it can go. Ooh. This is going to be close. That's pushed in as far as that can go. Oh no, I hope we can put one on this side. I hope we can. Can we quick craft them here? We can. I know you're burning, buddy. I'm sorry. I just want to see something. Yeah! It goes. No way we could do it. I think we found the way to store the crates. Let's 
What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Oh, why does that go in? Looks like this back wall sinks in far too much. Okay, maybe they're just a bit too far back. It looks like there was space though. Maybe just a bit this way. Like that. There we go. Can't see if that's on right. It is. The blank storage shelter is in full swing. We're doing it. Cool to get some lights in here as well. Um, right. The sun's going down, so although I'm sun... Oh. Nice one. Maybe because I was in here a little bit, doing this. I was protected from the sun. I don't know. But, uh, right. Let's get some of these in. Oh, that's the other way. <laughs> Toss it around like it's a pizza base or something. That's good. Am I actually going to run out? No way. And we got the steps. Oh, I'm gonna have to make the steps. Uh, steps, plank steps, please. Okay, now I'm looking at it. There we go, plank steps. We can't be working in the dark. Might just get this one. Put it in here for now. Um, I don't know where I'm going to place the hook yet, but as I'm working, I'll place this on here. Easier to see. Um, let's build these two walls. I thought I was originally going to have a flat roof, but now I think I might have one of those corner ones. So it goes to a point. I'm going to be able to fit so many crates in here. I like it. I like the uh, tool hut and the storage shelter. Can you even rotate it? I'm hoping that's right. Oh, come on. I think we're doing it. Is that done? Wait, how many planks have I got left? I reckon I can put a roof on there. We've got quite a lot of planks. Um, no roofs. Okay, we're there. Let's have a look. We can make... Oh, no plank roofs? Well, they need to add some plank roofs to the game. I don't think the clear ones would go. So... We'll stick with the wood ones. I want it to be the plank storage shelter, but what else can... Plank door, though. We can put a plank door on. That's the wrong way. It's got to be. <laughs> Why does that look the wrong way? Has that got a Z? It's got a Z in it. Z for Zuma. No? The door works. It was like it had a Z then. <laughs> it's got a Z on the door for Zuma. <laughs> no way. Kind of looks like it's back to front, but. We got a Z. That's just like the icing on the cake. For the roof, I think two roof caps could look good. <laughs> Although it's only one block high, it might make it look like there's a lot more space. I don't know, we can always destroy it later. Oh. What? We can only have one little cap on. What's in the way? Is it this? You want me to finish it? <laughs> I 
You know what you do? If I can build it, uh, where's the? Do I have any plank? I do. I should be able to build the hook. Oh. Um. Furniture hook. There we go. Don't know if this is going to work, but I can't put it on the roof. Is that the middle? Yeah, it's the middle plank. <laughs> so I can see my storage crates. We just need to stack them all up now. Um, right, let's see if I can put this roof on. I mean, how many? Should have enough for the roofs. So, okay, go to the building. Will that help? Will do. <laughs> Give me my capped roof. What is in the way there? It snaps on. Go on there. Oh, it was blue for a second then. What is in the way? Flat roof. Oh, that's good. Okay, we'll put that on for now. This is a good place to protect me from the sun as well. Yeah. Oh man. That's look nice. I need more lanterns. It's too dark in this plank storage shelter. Okay, so now I just need to sort these out and decide which order I'm going to put them in. There's nothing in these at the minute. So let me go and get some crates, stock them up. In fact, I need to sleep. Survived 30 days, guys. Crazy. Is the water here? There is. So this is a little bug, guys. Although it shows there's no water there, use your water bottle or coconut on it, and it should reset itself, and then you'll be able to get water from it. I believe you can hold five now. Yeah, five servings. That should fill up even more now because of the rain. Uh, let's just have a look. How are we doing? Oh, okay. Put that there. Uh, stats are pretty good. Oh, I hope they never change that. I wish I could put some paint and emphasize the Z more. <laughs> that is so prominent though. It's like when you see it, you can't unsee it. I like this uh, storage shack, you know. I can put the light on anyway. Oh no. Oh, we can. We can put it through the day. So it is a bit dark in here. Let's go and get everything. So, shall I put the crates in first, or rename them? In fact, I'm going to need the label maker. Uh, what should we start with? Engine parts, I think. Finally, the sun's out. If we rename this, I don't know. Engine parts. I think it's all capitals anyway. Yeah. So I can only store three parts, so I might just make another one full of carburetors and duct tape. Perhaps give me two more. One. Like that. And then the duct tape in one. So I know that's only the other parts that I need. Is carburetor and duct tape. Still engine parts. There we go. And then all the rest of the threes. So the engine, fuel tank, and the propeller. That's uh oh is that already? Oh, that's the other engine parts that I labelled ages ago when I first got the label maker. So those parts in there. So that's good. So that's the other engine part that we got. Put that there. We are getting organised. There we go. Don't know why it doesn't allow you to put the first one capital. Strange. Stock these up on top of each other. Which one's this one? Oh, there's nothing in that. What we should do, on this side we should have rocks, and this side we have clay. Yeah, so... There's nothing in there at the minute. So... Clay. Rocks. Still see the rocks? Might just bring it a bit out. 
We've got loads of space going down here. I don't know if I'm going to use it all. Show the lined up. There we go, so we can see the clay and the rocks. In fact, that probably just needs bringing out a bit. There we go. It's going to be good. So we've got engine parts, engine parts, engine parts, engine parts, and then all the carburetor and the duct tape at the top. Feels better already, so I know all this stuff. So I need to fill these with clay and rocks now. This is what's messy. It'd be nice to get all these stored. Oh, wild duct tape appears. <laughs> there we go, so we've got rocks, engine parts, just the clay. It's nice that I can store this now. I get enough of it and we can start building our brick base. I suppose I can drop these on top. Does that work? No. Whoa. Okay. Gotta line them up. So I think having light in here is really nice, but I'll just move that back. Uh, the problems that I've seen is that because the light's on the top, the shadows are really dark. Although I do know what it says. So I might put some hooks at the side and put some torches down. So I need four. I don't think the torches have actually got any cloth on. I think that's telling me that it's empty. I've got two torches that have cloth on. Okay. Uh, hook. Um, in fact, the fire torch would look better on there. I might just have fire torches in this whole place. Let's see what that's like. Roughly the same height. That's good. We need a lit fire so then we can hopefully light the torches. Let there be light. That's cool as hell. We need another one. This is the look I'm going for. Now we can read the engine parts. In fact, I don't think we need that. Nice, cool. How awesome is this game? Right, you can go back over here. Um, what do I need to put onto you then? How do I like relight you? Um, I don't know how long the torches last. Fire torch. How do I relight it, guys? Is there any way to add cloth to a fire torch? Looks like I'm just gonna have to. Make some from scratch. Give me my torch. Oh, I need to light it. I think I might be able to use another torch to light it. Perfect. Man. This is one of my favourite places. I feel like they should be opening this way. You know? Like you should peer inside and just be able to see a few of the inventory. Yeah, I feel like all oh, they should be flipped around. It's kind of weird that. <laughs> I'm gonna have a beans crate. God knows I've got enough beans. Everybody needs a beans crate. Probably could have an antibiotics crate as well. Got a beans crate. Oh, go like that. Is that in there? I actually thought I had a lot of crates. I want more. My torches have gone out. How do I replenish an empty fire torch? How about making a new one? Uh, so we've got beans at the bottom. I think this one should be meds and I can put antibiotics in there I can only start four can I okay there we go that's a good one for meds I might just start some bandages in there just fill up some crates oh no light why did you leave me in fact it's probably good having the lantern there for when the torches grow out how do I refill torches what is wrong with this? 
see if I can do it. I have cloth in my hand. That's all it needs. Can't put cloth on it. Come on, fire torch. Do not leave me. I'm trying to resuscitate it with a cloth. Come back to life. Damn it. So I've had to bring the lantern in. But we will change this one to... Uh, was it torch? Flare? And compass. There we go. Torch, flare, compass. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Clear engine parts, rocks, uh, meds, beans. Um, don't know what other stuff I can use. You know what? I'm getting rid of the empties. What does it normally say? Empty fire torch. There we go. Sorted that out. <laughs> uh, I need to make a coconut shack or something at some point to store all the coconuts. So I'm hoping to store everything apart from the coconuts. Uh, leather, cloth could go in one. I need more leather and cloth though. Look how faint the labels are. That's weird. Anyway, we had one spare on top of here. This could be the leather and cloth. It makes sense putting it this side with the rope and everything else. Man, get in there. So everything is stored. Uh, unfortunately, the torches have died. If you have any idea how I can get them back, let me know about creating new ones. So let's have a look. In this one, we've got beans, bandages, and meds. Uh, on this side, obviously, we've got the rocks. We've got the engine parts on there, uh, the clay in there. And on this side, we've got leather and cloth, uh, torch flare compass, in that order, and then rope at the bottom. So you can see I've utilized this space pretty well. Uh, and we could actually go six high. And as we've got five rows in this little area, that's 30 crates you can just store in this one section. Now we have got two of them, but fortunately it's not going to be 60 because we won't be able to store some there and then we won't be able to store some uh, in the doorway. So but we can still store two rows at each side, so that's over 50 crates we can store in this tiny place. Of course you don't have to set them out as I did, but it's a really effective way of storing I think. So going out to the solar still, we've got the clear water bottles that I can use to fill it up. And the only thing out here now is these coconuts. So I'm going to have to build some kind of coconut shack which would be cool. Um, I've got some wood and the old torches there. Going into the tool hut, we've got the fishing spears in the corner and the crude spears there. Then we've got my axes, the air tank, some food, uh, and then we've got my machete, the bow in the corner, and then my tools there. So everything has its place now. It actually makes me want to go and get more crates to fill all this up. In fact, can I probably put that on there? I can. Although the light's bad because we can't see that section. But yeah, overall, awesome. Really, really cool. I'm glad I made that. Nice, clean beach. So, let's sleep, shall we? If we can. Hopefully it'll go to morning. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, man. Every time I look at that, it just makes me think that this Z door was made for me. <laughs> so cool. But anyway guys, this is where we're going to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you got this far in the video, put Zoomador in the comments. I've got my own dog. It sounds like an animal. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.